Hello fellow commanders and welcome back to another Strategic Command World War One with me Bobby Box and before I click that button and check out what the AA has got to say for itself today I just wanted a little bit of feedback from you and that is although I am of course going to finish this playthrough off for definite I reckon there's another eight to well six to ten shall we say episodes I reckon well hopefully we'll get the uh, Russians out and then the French We'll see how long it takes and what date I can be finished this playthrough by. And then you'll be able to compare your playthroughs with the uh, end date for my playthrough as well, which would be quite interesting. You'll have to let me know that. But what the real question is, should I start an Entente playthrough? Should I start it before I finish this one? I'll still try and put an episode of this one up every single day. Um, should I do... Now, what I was thinking of doing is, rather than just doing a straight through playthrough, is to do... I think it's called the Triple Alliance or the Triple something, um, whereby we, the Germans, the Central Powers basically team up with Italy against the Entente and we, or I would play the Entente to make it a bit harder. But to make it really hard, I was thinking of playing it on Expert. Expert gives the computer a lot of benefits. I think it's 20% more MPPs per turn buffs to their units the units come out stronger more um a few more dishes decision points to make as well and and a biggie is that the computer would be able to see i think up to three hexes into the fog of war whereas at the moment it can see as that as, as much as we can see so it gets big advantages especially would help it out at sea if it can see those extra hexes now that's going to be a real challenge because i know I tried a little test again on Entente, on Expert, and just for about the first four turns, and they absolutely overran me in France. So I'm thinking of trying that. Let me know in the comments below. Please let me know. I want to know as well as what I want to do. I want to know what you guys want to watch. But I'm favourite to try a triple, the triple alliance where Italy goes on the side of the Central Powers playthrough, and I'm thinking of trying it on expert let me know what you think and whether i should try it on expert or not anyway without further ado but please do let me know because i want you guys to keep watching um, we shall end our turn and see what the ai has up its sleeve for this turn so the normal stuff going on at sea unrestricted naval warfare okay the bolge effects in finland are gaining in strength and threaten to overthrow the forces of law and order led by General Mannerheim. Major General von Goltz therefore proposes to lead an expedition to Finland to assist Mannerheim's forces in the case of in, in the battle against Reds, but sending it will cost us 75 MPPs. Would you like to do that? I think we will. Um, it looks like we might get an extra trade route. It's going to cost us 75, so we need to make up the 75. It shouldn't take too long. It's going to be, what, 10 a turn or something? That's not going to be too many turns till we make that up so i think we're going to say yes to that so there so we get that uh, for finland usa doing its usual protesting thing okay so trouble for uk at home in britain the normal blockades and we've got fighter development level two for the germans okay and we've got production technology level one for the ottomans all right not too much tech getting done on that turn then Right. Okay, Brits moving through Sa um, Saudi Arabia, through the Middle East. There's the Russian subs. I think they went south there. I'm not totally sure. It looked like they shot south there slightly. We're going to try and hunt them down and destroy them. I think there's two there um, up near Russia at the moment. No attacks just yet. Of course, there aren't going to be many attacks from Russia, I don't think. The Russians, apart from maybe against the Ottomans, are pretty weak everywhere, apart from on the uh, down near the Caucasus at the moment. Yep, here we are in the Caucasus. So we've got this place here in a bit of danger. Oh, they've actually got all their air force down here as well, it looks like. Taking some MPPs off the Ottomans. So yeah, we'll get the airborne stuff out of the way first. Get a recon bomber action. And from the Brits as well, nothing too crazy there. Recon bomber going in for the Russians as well, and we've got some artillery for the Russians. This is a, these are some heavy artillery pieces that the Russians have got in the Caucasus, and 
I'm a bit worried now they're attacking that one spot. Already taken one health from it. Down to seven. Down to six now. Down to four. We're going to lose it. Okay, we're going to lose that. It's a bit of a shame because it means that we're going to lose a national morale objective there. But we are hopefully going to make up more than make up for that on the east proper, eastern front proper. We've got some artillery from the Brits going in against the, our western forces as well. Taking a couple of points off. The, uh, yeah, the artillery pretty damn strong but we've got plenty of artillery pieces ourselves now so uh, yeah there's that as well looks like the italians are just moving north a little bit through the alps getting a bit of an attack oh that's because probably because we put our artillery there so they're just uh, responding to that and got another little push forward from the italians in the alps near brunec as well a bit of defensive artillery for us a little bit of damage though as did they and they're pushing in from the other side. So this is the first real push we've seen in the Alps from the uh, Italians, actually. Maybe the artillery being there triggers them. I'm not sure. Oh, dear. There goes, I think it's Trivzon. Can't quite see the name there. And, oh, man, our ship's going to take some damage as well because it's in the port. Oh, and ooh, that's not good. And the Russians get a national morale bonus from killing our ship there. That ain't great. That was 600 national morale bonus for the uh, Russians. And the Italians moving around. French moving around. Brits moving up through Iraq. Okay. Okay, just the AI just repositioning itself, doing a bit of thinking, moving its units around. Then we'll get the intelligence reports and then it'll be our turn to move on. Got our tank there in the Western Front now as well, the first tank corps we've got in the game. Okay, Ottoman morale falls due to the loss of Trabzon. Yeah, Ottoman morale's not doing great. I've seen all that already. A bit of raiding going on. Mainly from us. British national morale falls below 50%. That's good. Ottoman morale falls below 50%. That's bad. Okay. So, soon to be our turn. Oh, we've got to go through the intelligence reports first. Bit of artillery down there. There's one of the subs. That's good to know. We've spotted one of their subs. One of the Russian subs. And a leader near Paris as well. That's good to know also. Our empire, oh, this is the Ottoman Empire, fallen but fallen below, I think it, when it goes below 50%, it asks you if you want to spend some MPPs. In this case, it's 25 MPPs a turn, and they'll, we'll, the Ottomans will gain 50 morale points per turn. We're going to probably have to say yes to that, just to bolster the Ottomans' national morale a little bit. We've got another fighter, though. We're going to put that straight over on the western front, for sure. Just stick that up here somewhere. So we've got another fighter over there on the western front. But we're going to start off, as we normally do, over here. Where we've got all of our subs. And we're going to send them all down. We're going to send them out, down and around to try to cut off all this British supply they've got down here. So we're going to try send a few down here first of all. See if we can just cut off most if not all of the British supply. We're going to put a couple on this supply route here as well. We'll put three on that supply route and the rest we're just going to send down over here. This is going to really anger the Americans but I'm hoping we can they don't come into the war too soon although we will have all these subs to try to cut off any resup any supplies that they send over or any more units and stuff that they send over to Europe. So that's all of those kind of really blockading the Brits now. Oh, it does it automatically first. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, what? Oh, no, that's the one in the south. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the one in the south. So it's already gone white down there because I've got a sub on that. Oh, that's interesting. So it only takes one sub on both of those to stop those routes. Oh, okay. That's definitely worth knowing. So you don't need loads of subs to stop the routes from working. You only need one sub. That's really interesting for future playthroughs, definitely. Okay, but let's head over. I haven't got any more subs over here, I don't think. But we are going to do the shipping over here because we're going to hunt these subs down. Now, we did spot one by with our uh, 
yeah there's one here now i know these subs also are on pretty low supply and i might just use my bomber first oh actually no we will we'll use one of these guys first because we'll just move next to it and we'll use our bomber first okay one damage there oh and it moves let's have a little hunt around oh there we go i don't know if it's the same one it probably is let's move down one take another shot okay Got nothing to move up from the south i don't think i'm gonna yeah let's keep going with the closest one next hopefully we'll bump into the other sub as well It'd be nice to take these guys out it really would i'm gonna bring this submarine up as well so we can keep hunting we'll just bring this guy down finish this off hopefully yes very nice now there is another sub now i, th I thought it went to the south so I'm just going to have a little hunt these guys first that have already fired. Can't spot it there. Oh, we found it. We found it. Here it is. Um, we can't fire because we haven't got any shots left. We've got some subs up here. So let's bring this six health guy down first. If we could kill both these subs, it would be great. Oh, two off. That's nice. That's very nice. Let's bring this eight health sub uh, destroyer down next. Don't dive, don't dive. Oh, we could just do it. We could just do it if this one can finish it off. Come on. Yeah, so that's both their subs down now. Now we can, now their subs are out of the way. We can concentrate on attacking. There's one of their ships there in port. That's, there, that's the prize. The dreadnoughts and the big ships is the prize here. So we'll just bring our destroyers down as far as we can, first of all. Yep, that's cool. And um, now we've got to entice these guys out. Now there is a poss... I'm, I'm going to have to sacrifice stuff to get rid of those, but I don't want to leave them exposed. So I'm not going to attack into there this turn, but I will next turn. So we're just going to get all of our pre-dreadnoughts in position yeah i'm going to put um, this guy up here just to try and tempt him out although maybe i should have upgraded that first but never mind i've done it now and then so that's our four dreadnoughts ready for action and we'll bring this guy up as well our pre-dreadnought and i think we shall oh we've got another dreadnought here we can bring round i'm going to double move that no, I won't double move it. I'll just single move it. Don't want to lose supply. Oh, he's got to go down this way anyway, actually. So I could just double move it to another port. Yeah, I'm going to move this guy to... Actually, I'm just going to move him to there. I want to double move this, this uh, dreadnought down to here. All right. And then we've got this guy we're going to reinforce. I think it only goes up to eight there, yeah. Um, then we shall reinforce here. Here. So that's our pre-dreadnoughts all getting reinforced. And then I will just upgrade these cruisers. Just because I can. I'm getting loads of MPPs right now. And we may as well have these just in case we need them. As a bit of a last resort against the uh, Russian Navy. Upgrade this guy as well. Little right cruiser. And this guy as well. Okay. All right. All right. That'll do. Right now, I've got to remember about this this uh, leader here as well. We need to put over to the Eastern Front. So I think that's it for the shipping up here for this turn. We'll move over to the Western Front. Now, the Western Front, we were trying to get our artillery in position. The next target is kind of Belfont and just keeping trying to push over towards Paris as well. Um, now, our artillery, that one's, we need to, well, we could give it a go. I mean, a really weakish looking units, first of all. I mean, we need to get another space closer here, really. If we could get rid of these two, it would be nice. Um... Well, 
or maybe get rid of this try and get rid of this one first let's go in with our airships oh is it raining oh it's raining so we can still use the artillery though we're going to go for this guy first so we hit him with our this guy and then we'll go in with the artillery We've got 10 shells so we should be able to do a lot of damage here hopefully just try and do a bit of uh, push the front back just a little bit it's not taking that much damage down to 35 morale though. I want to do some killing here though. Come on. Let's see what he's like now. Oh, he's, he's, he's getting there. He's getting there. I'm just going to start doing some damage in a minute, I hope. Might take one off there. Take one off there. We've got one strike. We'll do one more strike and then we'll go in with the infantry. Okay, let's go from the north here. One five. Oh, that's powerful. Now, should I pull him back and bring the other one in? I've got no, that's it's a 1-2, really. Well, let's do that. Can I move in there? That's going to be a zone of... Oh, no, I can. Yeah, I might move that one in. Let's pound this guy. I'm not going to attack Belfont directly this turn. If we can get this guy out as well, then we'll have um, Belfont almost surrounded. And uh, that means they'll have to rearrange their units as well, possibly. Oh, I've got this guy as well. It's a long-range artillery piece. Ooh, nice. Let's keep going with the normal arty. Oh, he's taking damage already. Ooh. Oh, I've only got one shell left, though. Does a bit of damage. That's it. That's all my shells out. All right, let's go in with this guy first. All right, liking it, liking it. And then this guy... Okay, so there's two units out of the way right there. Now then, I can move... Oh, I can't move on to there. God damn, that's a real pain in the ass. Now I can move down to there. Oh, there's another cavalry unit behind. Oof, and I took a bit of damage there. That means I'm still not going to be able to move on to there. That's a shame. Okay, well that's as far as I'm going to get there. I need to just cover this slot up here. I've got another artillery piece up here. I can fire at one of these. Have we got any... Which is the weakest? We've got a 1-3 there. Yeah, let's attack the 1-3 then. So we can maybe get rid of another French unit. Got another 10 shells. Oh, and we've got this guy as well. Oh, I've shot the wrong... Ah, oh, I didn't mean to shoot the Italian. Ah, uh, that's a waste. Let's keep going on here then. Damn it. I hate it when I waste shots like that. Let's keep firing. Use all our shells up. Ah, oh, there's a bit of damage there. That's nice. Come on. Still got four shells left. I'm going to use them all up on this target. Yeah, might, if we can get rid of it without moving a unit, that would be amazing. Oh, I've only got one shell left now. Oh no, that was it. Right. Let's take him out then, hopefully. Right, that's him down. Now, I'm not sure I really want to move a unit into there. Oh, well, that's 2-2, two, two, and then I could still swap. Um, let's do a, do a bit of damage to there, maybe. And then rather than pull that back, I'm going to swap through that one. Do another 2 damage. Now, there's going to be a unit in tool, I think, so I'm not going to move this one forward. Um, I'm just going to... I am going to swap it, though. So that I can entrench the front line. Oh, I can't. I thought I'd be able to entrench, entrench it. I can't. If it's moved. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now then, up here. Got our tank. No real weak units. That's a 2-2. Two, two. We've got the Bulgarians up here. Could move down into that gap and attack this leader, actually. Can I get the, can't get the tank in. Could get this guy in and move the tank forward. I'm going to try a little bit of a daring probing attack here um, and move the tank near the front line it's only two damage these tanks aren't that strong but let's do some damage to this leader and then we'll, oh, I was hoping I'd be able to swap that uh, might have, mm, that's not so good then is it let's do a little bit of an attack with that tank we've got the tank now let's do an attack right that's not bad um, should we try and get rid of this guy five damage and hopefully we can pull him out somewhere yeah bring in the cavalry unit 
Got a nice shot with the Bulgarians. Let's do that real quick. Ooh. There's a big gap there now. Do we go for it? There's probably a unit on Amiens. So I might take a bit of damage. So I might just put this guy on there. And I can... Yeah, I'm just going to leave him there. Do you know what? I don't care. I'm going to do it. Yeah, there is a unit on there. That's probably a bad idea. I'm going to take damage. Oh, a lot of damage. Do a bit of damage back. So that probably wasn't the best move in the world. So we need to reinforce here. And here. All right. Okay. We've got a leader there. We can reinforce this Bulgarian unit as well. Now we've got this Austrian leader up here because the idea, of course, I'm not forgetting to bring the planes across. Keep bringing the planes across. The idea was to bring these artillery pieces up there. So we're going to operate these across still as planned in the last turn. So we'll bring these over towards Brussels. Put one on the coast there. Where's the other one? Here. So they can be under control of that Austrian... Woo. So we're going to have massive artillery on the uh, Western Front now. Massive artillery. Bring that across. Alrighty. Oh, I did get some new, new German... Oh, I've got this artillery unit here to move across. I just need to move that out of the way to bring this artillery unit forward a little bit. And I did get a couple more German units in the last turn, which I need to move towards the front. So let's move them over towards the Paris front, I think. Yeah, let's get them nice and close. So there though, the, that's those moved. Well, that's okay, liking it so far. Can we upgrade any of these planes or anything? I think we can, we can't fly them. So let's upgrade or re elite reinforce. I think we're going to upgrade to fighter level two now. That's nice, get a nice gold aircraft and um, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. I can move that into there. I'm glad I checked that. I'm just wondering whether just to move this plane closer. No, I'll leave it there. I'll give it an elite reinforcement though, I think. And I can actually upgrade these guys. Oh, that's naval weapons. So we'll just reinforce here. Okay, did I fire this? Yeah. Any other planes? Now that one I placed down. Oh yeah, this blimp here can be reinforced as well. That's about everything done, I think, reinforcements wise. A very quick look around. Yeah, I think that's fine. Now here in Italy, they did do some probing attacks. So I think it's best if I just pull this one back. So they don't take Salzburg. And I can still entrench it in that position. So let's do that real quick first. Now here, Brunieck's getting attacked. I'm going to reinforce, although the entrenchment's slightly facing the wrong way, but I'm going to bring this guy down just to help out on the flank there. Turn that round as well. Here, I think we're kind of okay. Yeah, nothing really to do down here, I don't think. Austrian Navy is going to stay put. We'll go over to, the, to in Egypt, down to Egypt. And I think we'll probably attack a little bit here, maybe, maybe not. Oh, there's a three damage there. They've got artillery set in behind, though. Um, I'm going to do a bit of an attack anyway, just to pressure the British a little bit. Okay. Let's do a swap there. Might be able to take this detachment out, maybe, if I can swap the swap again. Oh, he's took him out. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. So I can just upgrade this guy now. Won't bother with anti-air defence. Don't think the Brits have got many planes down there. And I think this guy will just elite reinforce and we maybe get down to moving him forward next turn. Our leader's looking good, but I'm going to... Can you not swap leaders? Oh, you can't swap leaders. Oh, I can't swap across the water there anyway. I was thinking of swapping these because this one's getting all the uh, experience and this one's not getting any. Anyhow, over to here. The Brits are pouring through here a little bit. So we're going to put, a, put a, a unit onto this little town, Der Etzer, because the Brits are now in Abu Kemal and this will stop them moving any further up that road. 
This guy I daren't move because he's on partisans. Yeah, I can't really move him forward. But just in case they come up that road, I can entrench him. Um, a man could be under pressure. We'll have to see if they start encroaching down that way. This guy's fine where he is. Now, up here, they've broken our town there, of course. So, I don't think they're going to be able to get over to Samsung because of the supply route over there. Now, here, we can definitely take this town back because there's nothing in it. So let's grab that. We could go over towards Musk. They've probably got a unit... Actually, they haven't got a unit on Musk because that's in... Ooh, this is, this is interesting. Now, here... I'm tempted to move this guy up towards Urzerum. Oh, oh, we're not. Oh, damage to the. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's because I'm on low supply. Eek, get back. Move that guy to there. I'm going to move this guy to here. Okay, interesting. So, uh, just entrench there. Alright. Um, this guy is going to probably just stay there. I think we will entrench though. Alrighty. This guy we're going to upgrade. Leader in behind just needs a bit of a reinforcement point. Now this guy could probably do with just pulling back onto the road I think. Yeah we'll pull him back onto the road and entrench him as well. Oh we can't entrench him. Okay just pull him back onto the road. All right, that's about it, I think, for the Ottomans, apart from doing a bit of research and getting some more units, apart from the ships, of course. Yes. Now, I think I can move this sub through there now. I can indeed. Let's get this sub up. Oh, whoa, hold on a minute. Okay, there's a sub. There's their sub. We have got our destroyer, so let's take that on first. Unfortunately, we lost our pre-dreadnought. Now, we can attack this seaplane carrier. Oh, that's nice. Six damage. Now, if we can destroy that, we'll kind of make up for that pre-dreadnought we lost. Okay, so that's good. That's good. I can move this one. Probably just move him back into port. And I'm going to put this up here. Just to try and catch that sub if it tries to move back. We've also got this sub. I'm going to have a quick peek up here. I can't remember what other ships they've got. They've got nothing up there, though, that's for sure. Nothing in Novobrodsk either. All right, so we'll move on to the eastern front. Now, we'll start down here in uh, Sevastopol. We can move forward with our cavalry here. Take a little shot at that aircraft. Ooh, do it a little bit of damage. Nice, nice. And we're also getting... Oh, that's actually... I might not attack it this turn. Let's just so completely surround the place. Yeah, we'll just completely surround the place first. I'll move this cavalry unit over towards Kirch. Get our leaders as close as we possibly can. Which isn't that close. And we'll, uh, we'll attack into Sevastopol. I'm not going to bother to dig them in. I'm going to attack into Sevastopol in the next turn. So they're all prepared to go there. That's another national morale point. Hopefully we can take in the next turn. Moving north got Lemberg. Now Lemberg is a secondary supply so we really need that um, because Kiev is not a secondary supply even though it's kind of a good one to have. So we shouldn't probably push too much further inland here because there's no there's no national morale. We need to take these all these points off so we're gonna kind of head backwards a little bit here. We'll go towards Zhitomir. Check out what's in there. Is that a Oh, that's just a detachment. Okay, let's take that shot then. Oh, I've got the German commander, so I'm just going to move an Austrian unit just to hold Kiev. And then we'll move these other units over towards Zhitomir. So we should take that in the next turn. Okay, I hope they don't push down here. It's a bit of an open ground there, but I don't think they will at this stage in the game. But we do need to start take really the secondary supplies down here oh that's a national morale objective as well i didn't see that Ooh. oh no that's us we've got that already oh what am i talking about it's this one isn't it don't think that's a national morale objective although it's still worth 12 so but this is the one we want to get the secondary supply really that's a one one units aren't that 
Good. Let's just do a 1-1 one, one attack there and see what happens. Two. That's okay. That's good. Um, yeah, we need to reinforce all these before we attack with them. I'm just going to... This cavalry unit's made a bit of a bold move forward as well. Let's do a little bit of an attack there. Four damage. All right. I'm going to reinforce everything else because... Yeah, we need to prepare this turn so we can take some more objectives next turn. All these need to be on good health to do, to do that. Get that cavalry unit right up there. And this guy as well. So that's that, I think. Got a lovely unit here. Um, I think I'm fairly safe to move that one off of there. Move it to where? We're going to go towards Smolensk. Got enough units there. I might move this north, actually. Yeah, because we want to eventually, maybe, if they're in that long, to try and take Vilna. That's not worth it, so we'll just re reinforce. We can't. Okay, well, let's use these then. Now we're heading towards Orsha now. So let's throw this eight-pointer up towards Orsha. Take that shot. One, four. Very nice. Then I think it's going to be the ten-pointer. We'll throw that right just around the side here. I'm not going to throw it all the way to Vite Vitebsk, because probably something in Vitebsk. Do that shot there. Take Orsha out. That's Orsha down. That's uh, our route towards Smolensk there. Um, I'm going to go all the way to there, even though that kind of leaves Orsha open to be retaken. But if they move out of their dug-in positions, I ain't that bothered. Although I can move this one up there. Although I'd like to kill this guy as well. Let's hit there first. Okay, I'll leave that guy there. I'm going to move this one up to here, just so that I can attack the guy on Mogilev. We'll attack Mogilev again, actually. So close. Don't think I'm going to get this guy quite on there. We're going to reinforce here. And I think I'm going to get a, this one up. Oh, I can't. Should I move him over here? Yeah, I'll move him over there. Now, if I swap him, he's... Oh, he's got, I can't swap him anyway. I, don't think. I could swap him, but I, then I don't think he'd, he'd have a shot. So I won't bother. But I will move my commanders forward. So we're moving on towards Smolensk. Okay, now up here we need to get this commander forward. Mustn't forget to do that. But let's just do our little attack, our little normal attack out of Riga. Down to two attack. We're down to six health now there. Um, I'd love to do some attacks here, but I'm just not strong enough. I'm just going to reinforce, I think, here. And we'll wait for our leader. We might poke him up. To try and get a surround on this guy, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move him up. Going to entrench there. And then... I'm a bit worried, actually, someone's going to come down through Libao. So I'm not going to do that, actually. Yeah. I could use this guy next turn. Let's upgrade him. Entry weapons one... Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's move this commander across. Operate him. Just there, I think. Then, Okay, then he's in a good position to uh, command those units. And that's about it for the Eastern Front. So we're on a nice, uh, heading nicely towards Smolensk. National Morale Objective, Sevastopol. National Morale Objective, excellent. There's nothing too dangerous in, Ot in, in Turkey now the Russians can get hold of. Um, Apart from some minor towns. Holding here. It would be nice to close this gap and destroy some units. And then try to kill off their ships. And then that should be the end, hopefully, of the Russians. So that's about it, I think, for this episode. Please do let me know about the Entente playthrough, which I'd like to do. And let me know if, if um, you want me to do it, first of all. Um, if you want me to start it before I finish this, I'll still put an episode of this up pretty much every day that I can as well. Or if you want me to start it after I finish this one. And if you want me to do the Triple Alliance, which I think I'm going to do anyway with the it Italians going on the sides of the Central Powers. But really I want to know if you think I should try one on Expert Mode as well. So that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Please do keep giving me those thumbs up. They really do motivate me and they really do help me out. If you can give me a thumbs up, don't do it later. Do it now or you're only going to forget. Subscribe. 
uh, for more ring the bell for notifications thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>